Hey everybody, it's Julia here again. Um, I'm a little late. This is supposed to be my week four blog, but it's more like my week five blog. Um, it's been 40 days since my surgery, so you do the math. I think this week will be, like on this Wednesday, it will be five weeks since my surgery. So it's Monday today. I'm just going to call this my week five blog um, for my post-gastric bypass surgery. Um, so I'll start with my stats. Um, so again, my high weight, I was 388. Um, my surgery weight, I was 354 because I had started my uh, low carb diet a bit early. Most people have to start them two, three weeks before their surgery. And I think I did it like a month and a half, maybe two months before my surgery date. It was like mid-June. So it was mid-June. So and then mid-August I had my surgery. So I lost a good amount of weight in between that, um, which is good because you want your liver and everything to be the healthiest that it can be. Um, so yeah, so surgery weight was 354. Last week, around this time, I was 325. This week, I'm 318.8. Um, I've been pretty steady, like, five to six pound weight loss every week, which is so cool. I can't even, can't even describe it. So that's 36 pounds or so since the surgery, which has only been 40 days. So it's like almost a pound a day. Um... And it's about 70 pounds since my high weight. Um, so that's so cool. Like, I am totally grinning to say that I've lost 70 pounds since my high weight. Um, it's really cool. I'm starting to feel it. I can, you know, I like cross my legs a little easier. Um, I can, I mean, I can't cross my legs quite yet. Like, not like a leg on a leg. I can't do that. I'm, I'm, that's going to be another goal thing for me. But, like, sitting... Like Indian style. I don't know how to cross like. Anyway, that's easier for me. I can get up and off the floor a lot easier. Like, definitely things are starting to become easier for me um, as as the weight goes down, which is so cool. Um, I had my doctor's appointment this week, last week. Um, and <laughs> I guess. I got carried away a little bit last time I was making my blog because I think I called my doctor a dick. Uh, I mean, not that he didn't deserve it, the way he talked to me on the phone when I, when I like pulled my muscle stitch, whatever that was, when I was in really bad pain and I called him after hours and he was like, I can't believe you're calling me for this. I told you this might happen and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, that was mean. Uh, so I think last time I, I made a video, I called him a dick. He apologized very quickly this time when I went to see him. He understood that that was a not the right way to uh, speak to me, especially because I was in frantic pain. And um, he said that um, as soon as he hung up the phone, he realized that he shouldn't have um, talked to me the way he did. And, and I said, thank you very much. I appreciate that. So. Me and Doc are back on good terms. Um, and he was very proud of me this week, or the this last appointment. Um, some of the things he told me was that I have already lost 26% of my excess body weight. 26%. And that my BMI was 58.6, which is really high. And now I'm down to 49.5. So that's almost... 10, that's like nine points off my BMI, which is huge for 40 days. I mean, technically a lot of that goes to the pre-op diet too. So not just 40 days, but since June, still big, big accomplishment. Um, and so he was really proud of me and, um, he said that I was doing great and I'm going to blow everybody away if I keep this up and um, so that was really nice to hear. Um, I'm starting to get some compliments to you about losing weight and it be more visual and, um, I'm very excited about that too. Those are always welcome comments. Cause you know what? This is, 
not an easy journey, so having some positive feedback along the way really helps. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people feel that way too. In case you're ever wondering if you should comment on somebody's weight loss, I would say yes. Okay, my phone just wanted to talk to Siri for a second for no reason. Anyway, um, let's see what's so then I'll talk about um, right after I uploaded my last video. It seems like this seems like this is a curse. Every time I upload a video, something bad happens. Um, I think it was the day after I uploaded my last video. I was taking my vitamins in the morning, or late morning, and um, I decided, because I already used round one of my vitamins, so I bought more, but I bought them in the gummy forms, because I was doing okay with a couple of gummy vitamins that I had. Um, so I was going to take my vitamins, and I think I chewed like three or four, like I just popped one, chewed it, swallowed it another, chew it, swallow it. And I chew them pretty well and swallow them and then wait, you know. This time I didn't wait long enough in between. So for about, I'd say two hours or so, I was very like uncomfortable and I could feel it going down to my pouch and then coming back up and then going back. Like I'd have to swallow it back and I just tried to find like a zen place until it passed because I feel that often when I eat something that I shouldn't or didn't chew it enough or drink too fast or that's how I feel is it goes tries to go down into my pouch and then my pouch rejects re rejects it somehow and it comes back up to my throat and I just have to kind of like take deep breaths and just wait for it to pass but it wasn't passing this time um so I was like all right kind of told my mom I was like can you watch the boy while I <laughs> go throw up because I think I have to throw up in order to feel better so I did, I threw up a bunch and you know, my, the yogurt I had that day came up and the whatever, but I kept vomiting. Um, it was horrible from, my, my mom and I got it, timed it out from 12.30 in the afternoon to 7.30 at night. I was vomiting like a mucus, and this is TMI, I'm no, I'm sorry. But I gotta, it's I gotta tell you how the way, gotta tell you how it is. It was like a mucusy foam. Um, that's, I mean, it wasn't a lot at once, but it was constant and very uncomfortable. And I still felt the obstruction, um, and it wasn't, it just wasn't coming out. Sorry, I just pressed the button. Don't switch. Okay. Um, it was very uncomfortable. And every time I tried to drink water to like push it back down. It would hurt so bad. It would hurt, hurt, hurt. And then I'd throw up the water that I just drank. Um, so my mother was in panic mode because, you know, throwing up all day is not a good thing. And uh, she called my doctor. And he said that it's probably that my vitamins are stuck and I just can't get them out. Um, so he suggested these um and my mom ran out and bought them right before gnc closed mm, papaya enzymes they're little chewables um they let's see what does it say digestive enzymes help to ease digestion and release vital nutrients and support to healthy digestive function they're little chewable tablets they actually taste really good too and they saved me that day. Um, I'd say like, I chewed, it says chew. Why are you, Siri, my phone is going crazy. Um, it says to chew three, oh, I didn't read it well enough. I thought it said three tablets, but it says three to nine daily. Um, I took six, <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna, uh. so I chewed six of them, swallowed and Found my little zen place and breathe again, and um, then I remember I took like an aggressive swig of water, and it went through my pouch. The obstruction finally, the the vitamins finally went through, and I was just so relieved. Ah, but the next day I was obviously really dehydrated and um, really sore from heaving and. 
crouching on the bathroom floor all day. And so that was rough. That was rough. Um, that was a rough day. It was last Saturday. This was like a week, a week and two days ago. Um, so it was actually after that that I saw my doctor and we talked a little bit about that. And he said that I really need to keep an eye on how often that happens to me. Um, and how quickly it resolves by itself because I might, my, my little hole to my, from my, um, esophagus to my pouch may be too small. Um, cause he says stuff like vitamins and usually can go pass through it. Okay. And, um, you know, he said to be really conscious of how often that happens and cause they might need to dilate my, my pouch hole. Is that, is that the technical term? Um, because it might be too small, um, which I'm hoping is not the case. But if, if it is, uh, I would rather get it fixed than live my life worried that I'm going to have to barf all day because something gets stuck in my esophagus. Um, and people, by the way, people call, I, I'm on like a couple of, you know, um, bariatric sites, uh, social network chat sites and stuff like that. So I obviously was like, why am I barfing? And people call it the foamies. Isn't that funny? They're called the foamies, which, so I guess it's not exactly that, um, uh, rare for there to be a cute little nickname for it. It sounds so much cuter called foamies than it did when I was barfing it up. Um, okay. Um, I was going to talk a little bit about my vitamins, but I'm already like, 12 minutes in. <laughs> so let me just say that I'll save that for another time, but I am taking, I counted them all, 13 vitamins every day. Um, trying to. Sometimes I'm, I'm slacking um, and I'll only take, you know, like one instead of the two recommended doses that they are. Um, I also wanted to touch base on um, this is a little bit of TMI too, but I just had my first menstrual cycle since the um, surgery. Actually, it's this is the second, but the, my first one was like right when I got home from the hospital and it didn't last very long. And um, But this is something, the surgery is something that really messes with your hormones. Um, so this menstrual cycle kind of hit me. It was like, boom. And now I need to start taking iron now that I've got my menstrual cycle back um because I was wiped out during the like week long period that I just had um and um what was all girls was gonna say oh and I also have like acne and um hives I've been getting like you can kind of see them on my forehead right now. I've always gotten hives when I'm, you know, like, if I take too much of a medicine that I don't get along with well, like Dayquil or something like that. If I take too much of that, I'll break out in some hives. Um, but I've been getting some on my, like, forehead and some on my chest. And they're itchy and there's really not much I can do. Um, again, it's a, it's a common thing that I've seen other people go through as well. And it's all hormones again. And... Um, making sure that you're staying hydrated and taking all of your vitamins and all that will help get rid of them. And, um, just another side effect of the surgery. And then, you know, me. Um, and a uh, quick to just touch base on what I'm eating. Um, I'm still in the pureed phase. I have to stay pureed foods until week nine, um, or until my doctor clears me, which could be even later than we can not I don't care. But, um, soups, like today I just had a Panera, um, cheddar broccoli soup and it was so good. But I can't really eat the big chunks of broccoli or anything like that because I can't eat solid foods yet. So I just kind of spoon around them and eat the brothy stuff and if I do get any, like, I just chew it really, really well. Um, 
I'm eating yogurt. Um, sometimes I'll put my Gene Pro protein into my yogurt just to give it more protein. Um, I'm supposed to be getting like 80 grams of protein a day, and I think I'm not getting that much. I need to work on that. Um, cottage cheese I can eat as long as I chew it well. I'm still doing the baby food puree pouches. Um, I can eat cheese. Like, I haven't met a cheese yet that I haven't agreed with as long as I chew it up really well. And I'm trying to eat eggs um, because, you know, they're a great source of protein and they're soft. And as long as I chew it really well, it should be okay. But I can't really eat much of that. Um, eggs is definitely the most, the, the hardest thing for me right now to try to eat. Um, I can usually get like three, four bites in small bites chewed really well but I still you know like it does the whole like coming back up and try again thing and um but um you know I'm trying I go out to lunch with my client every other day and it's really hard because she loves to go out to, to lunch so what I, I don't want to you know not do what she wants to do so I just sit there and I'll either, you know, sip on a little bit of broth or, you know, buy, like, I actually asked the waitress for one egg the other day. She was like, okay. Um, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do and, um, um, sometimes I just wish that I could just say, like, hey, I'm a bariatric patient. Can you just please just charge me like two bucks for a little teeny thing of soup or something like I don't want to pay five dollars for soup that I'm gonna eat like a third of but um it is what it is and it's my you know choice to go out with her too so I could be like no I'm not going out to lunch with you anymore but I don't want to do that so um you know another thing is is seeing everybody else eating around me and all that stuff it's still hard that hasn't gotten much easier. Uh, I really do my best to try to not complain to people because, hey, it's life. Food equals life. There is lots of food in life, and um, it's me who has to get used to it. It's not them. Um, sometimes I just have to go in my bedroom and shut the door. Um, but, you know, that's definitely going to be an ongoing thing, and now that it's getting closer to the holiday season, I'm starting to see like recipes online for cookies and sugar and frosting and blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, oh, oh, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. Christmas cookies are my favorite. But, um, you know, by then I can, I'll be able to eat soft foods and I'll have to find recipes and I'll, we'll share them with you when I find them and, um, it, it'll, it'll be okay. It's just a little bump in the road, right? I just sip on my water. Anyway, um, I guess that's it. And I will try to be more punctual this time. Everything just after Irma and our my son's daycare was closed for like a week and a half after Irma because they didn't have power. So I, I just kept trying to sit here and do a video and then I would get distracted by something else or I wouldn't have time before I had to go, you know, make dinner and blah, blah, blah. So, life gets in the way, but this time I'm not going to let it. I'm going to keep doing these videos and um, um, be more punctual this time, hopefully. Because I'm a little late with this one. Anyway, hitting the 20, 20 minute mark here. <laughs> So I will sign off for now, and uh, feel free to ask any questions you guys have, or comments. Um, if you have any recipes you want to share with me, that would be great too, because I'm starting to go a little food crazy. Um, so that is all, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!